You were great in that. And you too. You're every bit as brilliant as you claim to be. It was an honor to be on your team. Well, you're already a great OR nurse, and I like to be right. <sighs> Patrick, are you out of your mind? You defy a court order to operate? You have any idea what that can do to your career? That just saved Sam's life. And there wouldn't have been an injunction if you hadn't alarmed the patient's mother and caused her to panic. I did that to protect you from your own arrogance. Hey, what's going on here? My genius son here just performed an illegal surgery. He just saved Sam's life. Well, it turns out I'm a better surgeon than my father ever dreamed of being, and it just kills you. If Sam's surgery was a success, and you were just wrong. When did Alexis slip the injunction? She didn't, exactly, but it shouldn't matter. Elizabeth, were you part of the team that operated on Sam McCall? I was. Who was the surgeon? I was what? You're both under arrest. Thank you for everything you did. I was just following doctor's orders. Jason, I have a warrant for your arrest for ignoring a court order, conspiracy. You put a woman through surgery without her consent. Somebody ought to read the woman's chart before yeah, they take start a making judgments. Take a look in the room. She's alive, I'm, Matt. I'm glad. I mean it. I'm glad Sam made it through. Maybe a judge will show compassion. But you, you broke the law. I can't ignore it. So did uh, Epiphany Johnson. You arresting me, too? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. Okay, I have good news. Looks like the surgery saved your daughter's life. How come Jason's the only one in cuffs? Because he has an extensive record and a history of violence. Mac, he didn't do anything wrong. He's just a bystander. I'd be happy to handcuff all of you if you insist. But I won't uncuff him. I'd like to know if our arrests were motivated by malice or incompetence. Because the surgery was successful, the patient is alive. If Alexis wanted to arrest her before the outcome, then you might want to check back. Alexis knows the results. She's with Sam. So we've been punished for saving Sam? Epiphany wasn't even in the OR. I understand that Miss Johnson kept Alexis at bay while the rest of you pulled a bait and switch. So are you going to start shooting people for saving lives? I know it doesn't sound fair, but you broke the law. As Sam's mother, Alexis, specifically got a court order that forbade surgery, and you ignored Mac, you it. you know what? I'm the only one who should be here, okay? They only performed the surgery because I forced them to. I told Dr. Drake that I would shoot him if he did not operate on Sam. Mr. Morgan That's told why, and you know it. Patrick wanted to operate. We all did. Jason never threatened anyone, and I was there when Patrick asked Jason to cover if it became necessary. Hey, speak for yourself. Did Jason threaten you, yes or no? Yes. After I asked him to. The charges stick. Unless, Alexis drops him, you cop a plea where the judge shows mercy. That's the best I can do. Jason will spend the night in jail because of his priors. The rest of you can probably be released if you find someone to post bail. You arrest people for operating now. I was bailing my mom. How'd you hear? I was on my way to see Jason for business, and then I found out that you're arrested for performing an uh, unauthorized surgery. Don't worry about it. No, it's okay. I'll have you out in no time. It's okay. I said, forget it, Stanford. Your money's no good here. You're just mad because after all the preaching you've done about my life, you broke the law and you got caught. Don't you get smart with me. I'm a trained professional. You are a once brilliant young man. Who, who turned into a, a life-wasting, no-good, criminal by choice. So I said, put your money away. Mama's spending the night in jail. Is there anyone you'd like to call, Elizabeth? No, thank you. I'll straighten this out with Alexis. If there's anyone to blame, it's my father. He's the one who told Alexis to serve his life threat. What are you doing here? Yeah, I was about to ask you the same thing. You let Patrick Drake talk you into helping with an illegal surgery? No, that's not quite how it went. You know what? Let's just discuss this at home. I'm going to try to get you out of here. No, no. Honey, I appreciate it, but I'm not leaving until we've all been released. You should have left with Lucky. It's ridiculous that we've all been arrested. Sam needed that surgery. I'm sorry, Lucky. I can't force Elizabeth to leave. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I know. Look, I can bring her out here if you want to talk to her. No. 
I want to talk to Patrick Drake. Just so you know, I don't do the whole noble thing. As soon as my lawyer walks in, I'm out of here. Patrick Drake? As if I'm cute. You happy now? Excuse me? You've been sniffing around Elizabeth for weeks. Now you're responsible for her being arrested. You want to tell me exactly what's going on between you and my wife? You think Sam's awake? There's no way to know. Hmm. By now, Alexis knows that the surgery was successful. Just let her calm down. She'll drop the charges. We can all go home. My problems with Alexis are just story. Finally, Alexis is here to drop the charges. Hallelujah. Maybe against you, but she's got it in for me. Well, there's only one way to find out. D.A. Davis has decided to drop the charges. You're free to go. All of you. You all broke the law by aiding and performing in a rogue surgery. Your actions may have been well intended, but they were irresponsible. Even still, I have no intention of being petty or vindictive. That surgery saved Sam's life, whether my father agrees or not. Your father believed that she would recover without that surgery and then changed his mind when he saw that you were being charged with criminal Seriously, charges. Seriously, do you not get If he hadn't operated, Sam would be dead by now. Do you understand that Sam hasn't regained consciousness yet? And until she does, we won't know if this surgery was successful or not. What, what are you talking about? I'm saying that because you took things into your own hands, you may have caused your fiance irreparable damage. Is it all right if I use the interrogation room? I'd like a warden private with Jason. Be my guest. You're free to go. Not that it hasn't been swell. <laughs> Just want to say thank you. What took you so long? You heading back to the hospital? She's coming home with me. Honey, I, I can't. My shift isn't over. I have... Patient obligations. And where does your husband fit in your oh so busy schedule? Please, don't be like this, okay? I have to get back to work. Okay. Hey, this is uh, there's been a development. <laughs> where is she? Alexis had her moved. Hey. Would, had her moved where? We don't know. We what just... do you mean you don't know? She can't do that! Alexis is Sam's next of kin, and until Sam can speak for herself, Alexis can do whatever she wants. 